Elliot here with ePark Fishing. Today we're going to take a look at some amazing underwater footage of hatchery brood trout. But before we get to the big boys, I really want to thank everybody who participated in our giveaway in the last video. We gave away 20 packs of these Top Strike spinners in pretty short order. So I'm really looking forward to hearing how they work for everybody. So if you haven't ever been to a fish hatchery, I would definitely recommend it. It's really cool, it's good for kids, and I would just look up which one is the best in your area, because some are definitely better than others. Check out the blue water of this river. This is the Metolius River, a really well-known trout stream in Oregon. And this water is what feeds into this hatchery. So this one had a series of tanks as soon as you walk in that has rainbow trout and tiger trout. And as you can see, they're pretty decent size. And there's a really cool hatchery pond that we're going to get to a little bit later with brood trout. And the hatchery brood trout can be up to 15 pounds. So that was really what I was looking forward to was getting my camera out. Um, I got the GoPro here next to the stroller. Look at how many thousands of fish they have in this tank. This must be the regular stock trout that you see that are like 10 to 12 inches, you know, keepers. And you can see how clear the water is. So these fish are in really good water. They want them to be something that people can take home and eat. And here's a tank that I was guessing was like the trophy size. They look a little bit bigger and the funny thing about this was as soon as we walked over there, see how they all come over to us? They thought they were gonna get fed. They're almost trained, so they're not really, in that way, they're not really like wild trout. So once they see people, they will actually not be afraid of them and they'll go over to them. So here's a really cool thing about these hatcheries, and I don't know if all of them have this, but you can put a quarter into this machine and then get the fish pellets that they feed these trout. So they look like little kibbles. So then you can take those over to the hatchery pond. This is a really beautiful pond. And there are these little areas on the side of the pond where you feed the fish. So you can see my son here throwing these pellets down to these giant hatchery brood trout. And these guys are at least 24 inches. Some of them look like they were up to 36 inches. So they are gigantic rainbow trout. And that is really clear water. You can see the blue in it. That's because that water comes from the Metolius River that we were looking at earlier. And that's some of the cleanest, clearest water. So these guys can look pretty gnarly because as they're sitting in those holding tanks, they're bumping into each other, they're bumping into the sidewalls. And look at how aggressive they are when they feed. So I just took the camera underwater and then had my son throwing the pellets right above the camera. And then I kind of tried to pan around and get as many fish in the shot as I could. So this is one of my favorite shots that I got here. It's perfect lighting, the water's clear, and this huge trout comes right up to the camera. Did you see that injury on his gill? Some of these fish are really banged up. So here's my son throwing some of those kibbles. You can see the camera on the fixed pole to the right and that's where I had it pointed upward towards the floating pellets so I could get some footage of them attacking because they're just going crazy. So here's what it looks like. The fish pellets drop in right in front of the camera and then these fish are just getting wild. Some of them were even running into each other. So I noticed some of the fish attack the pellets and the bigger fish just kind of scoop them off of the top like a whale. They're not trying to expend that much energy. So when I had the idea to put the camera underwater at this hatchery pond, I wanted to make sure that that was okay with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. So if you ever do anything like this, I would definitely say you should call in and ask them if it's okay for you to do this. Um, they did tell me that I shouldn't put the camera underwater in the holding tanks because that could spread disease, but they said it was fine as long as I put the camera underwater in the hatchery pond. So I thought that was pretty cool that they let me do that. Obviously you can't fish in this pond. That would be the best fishing ever. So I didn't know if that extended to anything else going into the water. So have you been to a trout hatchery? Did it look like this? Let us know in the comments. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed filming it and taking a look at this footage. I'm planning to make a bunch of videos in 2023 so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. I'll see you next time.